Hey, how do those get dirty? I know you didn't use them. Well, it seems like every time we pour concrete, it seems like the weather drops. It's a nice brisk day. It is 43 right now, not too bad, but we're about to get this party started. Hold on just a second. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's rewind it back to yesterday. What's going on and welcome to Turning and Burning, number one channel, all things blue collar. I got an announcement I wanna make before we get this video started. I'm gonna be at the Con Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada, March 10th through the 14th. So if you can, look for me there. Leave a comment down there in the comment section. Let me know if you're gonna be there. I'd like to meet up. And if you don't know what the Con Expo is, take a look at this video. It's gonna make you wanna go. Get ready to experience the ultimate live show of machinery. Con Expo Con Egg takes the stage March 10th through 14th, 2020, where heavy metal meets hard rock. Jam-packed lineup with the hottest names in big iron and tech, featuring top headliners in asphalt, aggregates, concrete, earth moving, lifting, mining, utilities, and more, all in Vegas to help you grow your business and career. Mark your calendar for the only heavy metal show you need to see. Con Expo Con A. If it's new, it's here. That's right on time, isn't it? That's right. Hope to see you there. I'm excited to go. It's going to be a good, good time. Well, I'm back out in Central Texas, back on this job site. Uh, we've been moving along. Today I wanted to show you where we are at with this project. I would like to show you this project from the very beginning, what you saw in the Concrete 101 video, and show you step by step of what we are doing out here. So I'm gonna get out of the truck, take you along. Um, we're actually gonna do another pour, pour some more concrete tomorrow and uh, show you where we're at and what all we've accomplished and what's all here. So come along with me. So it's been about a week since we poured the 136 yards of concrete and uh, some things have changed out here as you can see behind me. We actually have some steel that has hit the ground. It's always a good thing whenever we have steel hitting the ground. Uh, these are actually the, um, the scales that are gonna be going in that are gonna be weighing the trucks out and uh, we have some truss frames some conveyor sections that will be installed as well those have hit the ground it's always a good thing whenever steel is hitting the ground the guys have been steady at it this is where we're at right now you can see over there that's the big slab 136 yards of concrete so we come in here and we uh we poured some footers in here and uh, this is going to be uh, an approach right here this is actually going to be a ramp where the trucks will be driving up through here going across the scales the scales actually sit right on here and you'll have your silos going up right here so as you can see the guys have been tying rebar forming everything up so we'll be ready to pour the other end looking at it you can tell a big difference how things change from day to day out here there was nothing but some flat land and then we poured a big slab here and then next we came in and poured this and now we're forming up this to uh, get ready to pour and uh, they've also been forming up over here over here we see these conveyors coming up in there It'll be the same concept right here and then we'll go take a look at these forms. That's what we're gonna be pouring out tomorrow. Take a look at what the guys have done there to get ready. So I don't wanna show you any plans or anything like that um, because this is kind of, each customer has their own way and everything that we draw up is for that customer. It's their idea, their plan, and what they wanna do. But I can show you uh, what we're looking at 
and uh, kind of the idea and the concept and the work that we're doing. So, like I was saying, over here is the where the conveyors are going to be. Same concept as over there, those conveyors, but right here. Um, if you look closely, you can see right here, tied into right above the rebar, that is a, what we call an embed plate, which we will actually be sitting the bent support for the conveyor on that, welding it down, and that's what's going to hold it. So all the way through here, you have big mat slabs all the way across. You have another section here, same thing. Work our way all the way down to a third one, a fourth one, and a fifth one, which the tail section will be, and that will be four conveyors. It'll be spitting out, coming up here to where the silos will be sitting. So that is what we were looking at right now. That is where we are with this job. It's amazing to see how things progress every single day is a new day everything changes it goes from flat land to concrete and pretty soon all the flatness we're going to be working our way up so that's enough of that you see that i'm going to go kind of throw uh, a little bit of montage a little bit of uh, concrete footage in there with some good music all right now let's get back to where we were section you can see right there where my shadow is and then we will be done and we'll finish it out hey man they say you're the best finisher in texas man is that true i don't even know what i'm doing right now is this your first time yeah. first time on the job let's check it out Hey, he says he's number one. Number two, number one. Oh, the truth, the truth. So tomorrow will be the very last day of pouring concrete. We just have a little bit left. I'll show you right here on both sides. You can see right here. This is going to be an actual uh, washout area underneath the scales, just so uh, it doesn't get a whole bunch of uh, nasty mud and stuff underneath there and then you got the approaches on both sides you can see over here as well it's going to be the same thing so tomorrow we will pour that out and that'll be it for the concrete and then after that the next videos we'll be rolling in with we'll be uh, putting conveyors up which you've seen before and uh, putting up a big structure and putting silos in this is going to be a very very cool project I'm not gonna drag up but I'm gonna roll on up out of here until next time peace